Hello friends, welcome back to STM32 Tutorials. Myself Ajinkya and we are here to learn embedded system on STM32 controller. In previous video, we saw how to interface LCD with STM controller. But we missed few points, so we will be covering those points in this video. In the last video, we only displayed numbers on the LCD. In this video, we will display characters along with the numbers on the LCD. The interface circuit is same as that of the last video, only the 20 by 4 LCD is replaced with 16 by 2 LCD. Rest of the connections are same. In the alphanumeric LCD, characters are displayed by their ASCII value. The ASCII value can be found from the ASCII table. So the ASCII value of 0 is 48 decimal, that is 0x30 hex. The ASCII value for different characters can be found in the ASCII table. Here you can see. To display the digits from 0 to 9, we have to send 48 to 57 decimals to the LCD. To display capital letters from A to Z, we have to send ASCII values from 65 to 90 decimals. Similarly, for displaying small letters from A to Z, we have to use values from 97 to 122 decimals. So if we want to display any number from 0 to 9, we have to add 48 in it. Or we can simply pass the ASCII value directly. That's why we have written plus 48 in the previous LCD code. Now let's modify the code to display characters on the LCD. For that we will initialize a string called str and we will write something in it like STM tutorials and embedded systems. We have initialized the string str. Now we will have to modify this for loop a little bit. The code needs modification here in the LCD function. We will pass the individual string character to the LCD function by the index position. The index position is accessed by the LCD val. Let's build the code and try if we can display the characters on the LCD or not. We have zero errors in the code. Open the simulation circuit. Load the newly generated hex file in the controller and click on run. So as you can observe, we have displayed the characters on the LCD. Now let's try to display characters in the second line of the LCD. For that we have to understand the basics of the LCD. As we have seen in the previous tutorial, the 20 by 4 LCD can display 20 characters per line and there are 4 such lines on the LCD. The characters are always displayed from the beginning of the first line first position. It's a LCD setting we have done in the LCD initialization function. We will see the LCD initialization function in detail. First, let's understand this. The first position in the first line of the LCD starts from 80 hex. For a 20 by 4 LCD, the first position is 80 hex and the end position is 93 hex for the first line. The cursor increments to next position to the right side. So from the end of the first line, the cursor should move to the second line. But the cursor increments from the end position in the first line to first position in the third line. Similarly, the cursor increments from the end position of the third line to the first position of the second line. After the end position of the second line, the cursor increments to the first position of the fourth line. And after the end position of the fourth line, the cursor increments to the first position in the first line. The first position in the first line starts from 80 hex. The first position in the second line starts from 94 hex. The first position in the third line starts from C0 hex. And the first position in the fourth line starts from D4 hex. The end positions are also mentioned here. For a 16 by 2 LCD, the first position in the first line starts from 80 hex and the end position is at 8f hex. The first position in the second line starts from c0 hex and ends at cf hex. So the cursor increments from the end of the first line to the beginning of the second line and from the end of the second line to the beginning of the first line. 
Now let's try to display characters from the second position of the first and second line. To do that, we have to send the instruction 0x81 and 0xc1 to the LCD. To send the command, we have to write the second parameter equals to 0 in the LCD function. The 0 instruct the LCD that the data sent is an instruction. Let's modify our code a little bit. I have made two strings, one is str and second one is str1. So it is easier to use the same for loop with only one string name changed. Let's build the code. Open the simulation circuit, double click on the controller, load the hex file and click on run. We can observe the change in the position of the first character display on both the lines. The strings are displayed from the second position on both the lines of the LCD. Now let's look at the LCD initialization function. In the LCD initialization function, we have written the hex code along with the second parameter equals to zero. It means the hex code written are the instructions to the LCD. Now let's look into the instructions one by one. These are the instructions or command which are used for setting the LCD. The first command in LCD initialization function is 0x38 which means set the LCD in 2 line 5x7 matrix mode. The next instruction is 0x0c which means turn on the display and keep the cursor off or not blinking. We can modify this instruction to blink the cursor. To do that we have to change this command to 0x0e. The next instruction is 0x06 which is increment cursor to the next position to the right side. The instruction 0x01 is to clear the display screen which will wipe out all the characters from the display. The instruction 0x08 which is for positioning the cursor. We have played with the cursor positioning. So we will try the other commands of the LCD. Let's change the command 0x0c to 0x0e to blink the cursor. And let's use the command 0x01 to clear the display after string display on both the lines. Let's build the code. We have zero errors in our code. Open the simulation circuit. Double click on the controller. Load the hex file into the controller and click on run. As we can observe, after displaying the strings on both the lines, the display is getting cleared. And then again the strings are written on the LCD. This is because we are running the program in while loop. The LCD is clear due to 0x01 command. We can also see the cursor now. So you can try different commands with the LCD on your own. If you enjoy the video, click on like, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to check our telegram channel for the simulation and code files.